Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Mariah, if you guys don't know already, which you guys should know by now because I say that in every video. Anyways, today I'm super excited because we're doing a movie review on Don't Breed 2. So guys, Don't Breed 2 is a sequel to Don't Breed 1. So if you haven't seen this one, I highly recommend you guys go watch it. You can get it on Amazon Prime and rent it, I believe, for like $3. That's not bad, okay? It's, it's, it's worth the watch, trust me. COVID's a bad thing, but I love since COVID that they allow us to watch movie theater movies on our at our in-home screen streaming apps like HBO Max or Amazon Prime. They like, you know, they, you get to see the movies that get released in theaters. So I do like that because it helps me be able to watch those movies sooner than actually waiting until they are done being released in the movie theaters for, I don't know, two months or how long they keep them in there until I actually have time to go watch them. Don't breathe guys, I was actually surprised by the sequel. I wasn't expecting a sequel, I know you guys weren't expecting a sequel, but we got a sequel. And was I disappointed with the sequel? No way at all. I was in love, I'm like in love with these Don't Breathe movie. I'm in love with the film in general, but I mostly just like the actor so much and how he plays being a blind man. Um, Stephen is, I believe, is an amazing actor, and I'm so glad that they didn't end up replacing him for the sequel, because directors have a habit of doing that, where they're just replacing the person, the main character in the sequel, like, we first one did not happen or something like that. I don't like it when they do that personally. It just ruins, like, my whole little, my whole love for that film once they do that. Once they do that, it's just, nope, no more. I don't even watch that film no more. Anyways, getting back on topic. Do I have much beef with this film? No. I'm actually in love with this film. I'm happy with it, but I am going to end up saying some spoilers because I just got there's something in the in the storyline that bugs me when I watch this film. So if you guys haven't seen it already, sorry, this is going to spoil it for you. So either choose to continue watching at your own risk. The plot was great. So don't get me wrong. It was just a little weird because it didn't make sense at the same time. Like it was a good plot, but then you would took it sideways. So what I'm saying is, guys, the main part I'm talking about is when it comes to her finding out that she has parents and they want her heart. Okay, that part did not make sense to me. That, I was like, wait a minute. You're telling me that you have a daughter and you're like, oh, I'm going to take her little baby heart, her little her little kid heart, and put it in my grown-ass body. Yeah, that could work. No, that's not realistic. Guys, watch. Let me, let me do my research just to make sure I'm not lying, okay? So, like, this thing is not true. I mean, at least I don't think it is. I, and... Yeah, see? It's not real. So it says basically right here on Google, an adult donor heart cannot be transplanted into an infant because the infant's chest is too small. So basically the same thing around which is an adult cannot receive a child's heart because a child's heart would be too small for their fruit and body. You have to wait for around the same age estimate. Whatever how that works. I'm not a doctor, but you get you get what I'm trying to say. My the plot, that part just threw me for a loop. Another thing was about this movie, I just found it fantastic. I loved it. 10 out of 10 stars for me because the first one and the second one was good. The second one just got me like screaming the whole time because of all the goriness and like the little like popping up everywhere. I just love this film. I'm, it's a very great American horde in the spirit of Halloween to just start off your season. But guys, I was actually impressed with this movie. Don't get me wrong. So basically what this movie's about, Don't Breathe 2, is about this older man that lives in a house by himself. He, um, in the first one we knew he was alone, but in the second one we find out that he actually has a child with him, which I thought suspicion was like, oh, he actually did it. He actually ended up replacing his daughter, like how he wanted to in the first one, but then it ends up being another twist in this movie. Guys, I love this movie so much, I swear. I'm gonna try to describe the summary as best as I can, so let me, let me, let me try to get it out. Okay, so a quick summary, again, about this movie is basically about an older man that lives in a bandit street. Um, he basically lived alone and people tried to mess with him in the first film by robbing his place but later did they know that this man had a unique background which was that he was a Navy SEAL. You don't mess with Navy SEALs guys. So this guy ends up being blind and kicking everybody's asses and basically you know it's just some guy you don't mess with. It's This movie is so good. It's I just love the way it's directed. Everything about this movie is amazing especially how I love how it's just like in a, a like a classic horror film kind of way like it's really like, but other than that overall I loved the goriness I love this actor so much Stephen him I love every movie he I loved him in Avatar I also loved him in the TV show Terra Nova if you guys haven't seen Terra Nova I haven't already watched it even though they didn't continue it it was a good TV series I gotta admit I love dinosaurs by the way so that Terra Nova film had dinosaurs in it so that made me just even more want to watch it and then the actors alone were just amazing they're just just great. Wish they continued it though. 
Anyways, back to the movie. I Like I said, um, the movie was great. The actors were amazing. I didn't feel anything wrong with this film at all. I love the way the camera motion moved as you got to see um, people that moving through his home. The film, uh, the director did an amazing job with that. I also love how, um, like I said, I love this actor, man. Like, he's not even blind in real life, but the way he plays this movie just makes the movie so much more better. And the way that they had the battle scenes, the fight scenes in these films, especially in the first one to the second one, it's just, it's just, it's action after action, and it's just unique, and it's also just, it's just badass. Let's just say that. Don't Breathe is like the main number one American horror film. I think you guys should start watching if you haven't watched it already. Get your friends, get your family, and just sit down. This is a very enjoyable movie to watch. Like, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't known already, we are having a $300 gift Amazon gift card giveaway, which I'm super excited for, which is going to be ending pretty soon, which is going to be October 8th, guys. So get up on it. Enter now. If you guys haven't shared with your friends or your family already about this $300 Amazon gift card giveaway, please share it. Spread the love. So don't forget to check the description box down below. I'll be leaving a link to my $300 Amazon gift card video where it explains all in detail of the three steps of the three steps you guys need to do to enter the giveaway. Other than that, guys, don't forget to put a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below if you guys haven't already. I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!